Locating your utility lines can be tough. The radio detection is simple, lightweight, and provides accurate locates in the roughest of environments. By using advanced processors and software known as Centros, radio detection provides you with the most accurate locates possible. Each unit comes standard with an automatic depth reading, dynamic overload protection, simultaneous peak and null modes, and self-calibration validating. This video will demonstrate the RD7000 and RD8000 series locators and the options available. There are three transmitters available for the RD7000 and 8000. The T1 is a 1 watt transmitter with LED lights. The TX3 is a 3 watt transmitter with an LCD screen and the TX10 10 watt transmitter with an LCD screen. The T1 is a 1 watt transmitter with three frequencies 512 Hz, 8 kHz, and 33. There is a high and a low output level. On high, it puts out a maximum of 1 watt of power. Signal can be induced or directly connected. It runs off of four D cell alkaline batteries, which go in the back. Each transmitter comes standard with a set of cable leads and a ground rod, and a two-year warranty. The TX3 and the TX10 come with a backlit LCD screen. The software can be customized to the user's preferences. Frequencies can be taken off or put on. The software can also be updated through the Centros Manager software from Radio Detection. The TX3 and the TX10 is powered by eight D-cell alkaline batteries. There is an optional lithium-ion rechargeable battery available. The lithium ion can be recharged using a cigarette lighter adapter or a regular AC outlet. Each transmitter also has a USB port for updating the software free of charge using the Centros Manager from Radio Detection. Each transmitter is sold with a set of leads, a ground rod, an extra 20 foot spool of wire, and a magnet. An optional 4 inch or 2 inch ring clamp can be purchased. The transmitter has a backlit LCD screen. It displays the battery life, the output level, the milliamp reading, a voltage reading, and the frequency that you're applying. You can select the frequency by hitting the F key on the keypad. Each TX3 and TX10 transmitter comes with 15 possible active frequencies. Eight are induction frequencies. Fault find mode is also an option. With the additional A-frame added, you can fault find on cables finding sheath to ground faults. When you turn on your transmitter after hooking up your cable leads, you'll hear a tone change. The tone chain signifies a proper hookup. The deeper the tone, the more milliamps you're pushing out. The milliamp signifies how good of a hookup you have. It's measuring the continuity of your direct leads. Your signal is going down the red lead and coming back through the black lead from your ground rub. The transmitter has auto impedance matching which means when there's a high resistance target line, it will automatically turn up the voltage output and push out more signal. And when there's less resistance, the revoltage will go down, saving battery life. If your transmitter is equipped with iLock, you'll see an icon on your screen. iLock is a Bluetooth connection between the receiver and the transmitter, which allows the receiver to control the transmitter. It will allow you to change frequencies and bump the power level up and down, or put it into sleep mode, up to a quarter of a mile away. There is a multimeter on the transmitter. By selecting the V key, you can switch between voltage and wattage output. The up-down arrows will select your output level. There's four different levels. The TX3 and the TX10 transmitters have a three-year warranty, and the software is upgradable through the Centros Manager. There are two receivers available, the RD7000 and the RD8000. Both will work with the T1, TX3, and TX10 transmitter. The receivers work off of two D-cell alkaline batteries. Inside each battery compartment is a USB port for updating the software free of charge through the Centros Manager from Radio Detection. The USB port can also be used to verify the calibration of factory settings. On the front of the receiver you have an accessory socket for an external A-frame or antenna, and you also have an earphone jack. When you turn the unit on, it will come right back onto the same settings that it was on last, so there is no setup process. On the face of the receiver, you'll have an on-off key, a frequency key, up-down arrows to select your sensitivity level, and a depth key. 
The depth key switches you between an automated depth reading or a current reading, which displays on the screen all the time, as long as you are over your target line. The receiver displays peak and null mode simultaneously. When working together, the peak and null mode determine if you have a good magnetic field, therefore giving you a good locate response over your target line. The peak response is your signal strength on the center of the screen. It is also represented by your bar graph on the top of the screen. The stronger the signal, the closer you are to your target line. The null response is represented by the arrows. They are also known as distance arrows. The arrow will get smaller and smaller as it gets closer to the line. When you are directly over the line, you may get two arrows to show up simultaneously. When the peak and the null both tell you it's in the same spot, you know you got a good locate and your depth reading is probably right to the inch. The F key will select the different active and passive frequencies available in the receiver. There are five active frequencies that can be used with the transmitter. Four of those frequencies can also be used with sewer sons. The three passive frequencies are power mode, CPS mode, and radio mode. Radio mode will pick up excess radio signals, power mode will pick up excess 60 cycle power, and CPS stands for cathodic protection system. It picks up impressed DC current traveling down gas pipes. These three passive modes can be used without the transmitter. Each receiver is customizable to the user. Frequencies can be turned off and on. Null mode and peak mode can also be turned on and off. The receiver can be used in peak mode alone, null mode alone, or peak null combined. The receiver model will determine the available options. The receivers can be ordered in a DL model or a PL model. The PL model comes with fault find. An accessory A-frame can be purchased to find sheet to ground faults. The PL is normally catered to power and comes with a depth reading in power mode. The DL model does not have a depth reading in the power mode, but it does have CPS mode. CPS allows gas companies to pick up the impressed cathodic protection on their gas lines. The DL is mainly sold for water and gas locates. It also allows you to pick up four different sawn frequencies. A step up from the RD7000 is the RD8000. The RD8000 has a compass on the center of the screen to orientate you which direction your target line is traveling. If your target begins to turn, your compass will turn, guiding you in the proper direction. As I turn the receiver, you'll see the compass always stays magnetized to the target line. Once in line with the target, your automated depth reading will show up on the screen much like the RD7000. The RD8000 also has a survey cert button, which allows you to save your readings. Up to 1,000 readings can be saved inside the receiver for later download. Readings are transferred through a Bluetooth connection to a PC, PDA, or GPS unit. The information that it saves includes a depth reading, the frequency that you're using, the signal strength, current measurement, and much more. After selecting the Survey Cert button, you'll notice the Bluetooth icon start flashing. This is trying to transfer the survey information directly to the GPS or PC. The RD8000 receiver, when sold with a TX10 transmitter, comes with current direction. Current direction allows the user to see the direction of their transmitted current. An arrow pointing away from the transmitter signifies that you're on your target line. A reversed arrow pointing back towards your transmitter could mean that you've bled off onto another utility. The arrow on the receiver screen should always point away from your transmitter. The RD8000 receiver can also be ordered with iLock, which is a Bluetooth connection back to your transmitter. It works up to a quarter of a mile away and allows the receiver to change your transmitter signal and frequencies. It can bump the transmitter signal up and down or put it into sleep mode. The receiver also comes with sidestep, which allows the operator to adjust the transmitter frequency to avoid unwanted interference. When interference occurs, sidestep can be put into auto mode and automatically change frequencies. The 8000 receiver can pick up all 15 frequencies the TX3 and the TX10 transmitter transmit. It can also pick up ELF, which stands for extra low frequency. It's a 98 Hz transmitted by the pipeline current mapper made by radio detection. 
There are many accessories you can order with the RD7000 and 8000 series locator. Different size ring clamps, live cable connectors, stethoscopes, fault finding A-frames, submersible antennas, and much more. The kit is usually sold with a soft carry bag. It's a padded protective case which houses the transmitter and the receiver and all the accessories. You can also order a hard case which will help protect the unit a little bit more if riding in the back of a vehicle or left out in the rain. Each receiver, like the transmitter, has a three-year warranty. That concludes our online demonstration. Thank you for visiting. Please contact us with any additional questions.